Speaking of dunk contest winners. It's the 2K Sports pregame show. And one of the epic nights in the NBA. We welcome you to the all-star game on 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Tonight, it'll be the West All-Stars going up against the East All-Stars. It doesn't get any better than this. The best of the NBA, all together on the... 2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Hi everyone, we welcome you to the NBA All-Star Game. I'm Kevin Harlan, along with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg. Okay, and you know what, this is probably, Kevin, my favorite date on the NBA calendar. I mean, with the amazing nice collection game, of players huh? we have here tonight, this year promises to be an epic event. Absolutely. Guys, it always is. I mean, the privilege of playing in this game means so much to every one of these players. I mean, being on this huge stage brings out the best in the NBA's biggest superstars. A look at the West All-Stars starting group. Curry is out there with Harden. Then there's Kawhi Leonard. Then there's Towns. And it's Parker in a power forward. Yeah, heads up aggressive play right there. Saw the smaller man on him and took it straight to the basket. And fans and celebrities alike have descended on this town for All-Star Week. There's been a bunch of fun events going on all over the place. And Greg, it's like that every year. I mean, no matter what city is hosting, it becomes a mecca for everyone who wants to take in one of the greatest scenes in all of sports. Not only to watch the best players, but to be seen by the other stars in the crowd. I love this event so much because it combines the world-class ability of these players with the freedom of the playground. Yep, it's the greatest and certainly the most fun pickup game these players will ever play in. And Leonard gets it to go. Uh, not a lot in the way of defense here tonight, but you know, that's about the norm. Yep, this game is always going to be about offense, about entertaining these fans as much as possible. Here's Durant. East All-Stars with a new shot clock. Tries again, and the layup is up and in. Woods got his second bucket tonight. And that's a nice exchange between teammates there. I mean, they really work well together, whether it's All-Star Week or the regular season. You know, really pretty fresh they get to share this stage together tonight. I mean, they've both helped each other to get here, and now they're going to keep helping each other. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Well, Eric Spolster gave me a few minutes to catch up. He spoke about the game, and Coach made it clear that he was going to get out of the guys' way and let them enjoy themselves. He told me they know what they're doing. Nobody's interested in me drawing up a ton of complicated plays. I'm just going to roll the ball out there and let them play. Kevin, back to you. Okay, David, thanks. And here is James. Kawhi Leonard getting his three to go. Man, showing some terrific range. Durant's got his first three points of the game. And good passing, setting up a lot of these buckets right now, Kevin. That's been the key. Time dropping delights is what I call it. Yeah, that was a nice pass. I would give you that. Yeah, he's on the money, that's no doubt. Well, the All-Star Game D is in full effect. They typically clamp it down in the second half. Yeah, you always know we're going to see a few of those every all-Star Weekend, but I, I don't know if we'll see a better alley-oop than that one right there. Towns, the screen. Harden kicks to Towns. Back to Harden. Outside Curry. Six on the shot clock. No good with the triple. He's with the ball. They lead by seven. Durant, the pass to Wall. Here's Wood. James in the post. He's against Parker. A shot by LeBron. No good. James against Parker. Outside for Curry. And it's good on the assist by Parker. And he's been a gem this year. I mean, there have been so many highlights for him all over the first half of this season. And I've got a feeling, Greg, he's just getting warmed up. I think he'll be even better 
after the All-Star break. Yeah, the D with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been from beyond. Now, here is Harden looking for his first basket still in this one. Harden's got a great IQ. Actually, I would grade it outstanding. A dependable scoring option in these situations. And it goes out of bounds following the shot. The East making a switch. Fox is checked in. And West also making a switch. Russell Westbrook's checked in for Steph Curry. Hey, get Westbrook. Westbrook against Fox. Hey, that one falls. And I love the confidence and, and energy Westbrook plays with. Just an excellent score once he gets good position inside. Pass to Wood. Over Harden. We'll get right back to the action when we return. A great event unfolding. One quarter of basketball already played. And welcome back, everyone, to this year's coverage of the NBA All-Star Game. And, guys, we've already seen some unbelievable action here tonight. And there will be plenty more to come. We know that. All-Star action never disappoints. And, and, you know, the fan voting is what determines the starters in the All-Star Game. Then the coaches will decide on the reserves. But either way, whether you're picked by the fans or the coaches, earning the title NBA All-Star, that's an honor none of these players will ever forget. They've got Levine, also Fox out there. Onda Takumbo is out there with MB. So that's who the East All-Stars start the second with. Boy, I like the edge that MB plays with. Great at recognizing when he's clear to throw it down on you. Now here's McCollum, feeds it to Westbrook. Fox with the steal. And here we go. Fast break. Levine's got it. And you have two things working there, Kevin. Good awareness by Levine on the pick. Then the quick decision to throw it ahead. Well, Greg, one thing we know for sure, you know that every player who earned a spot on this roster is going to see his share of action spreading the minutes evenly. As you've always talked about, it's always a top priority for these All-Star Game coaches. And you're so right, Kevin. I mean, for all the hard work these players put in to get here, I mean, each one deserves a chance, if you will, to share the spotlight. It's one of the great things about the All-Star Game. They get the rebound, McCollum, and he drops in the layup off the glass. The tenacity on the interior, just battling, bringing that effort and will for second chance points. Here's Levine. Can't hit that one. Now the West All-Stars the other way. And, and not as many turnovers as, as we often get in this game. So good to see both teams taking care of the ball. Yeah, it really is. I mean, surprisingly, very well controlled for the most part. Sometimes things get a little wild out there, but not so here. No question. He got bumped on that shot. Yeah, the officials didn't need to talk that one over. It was obvious. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the East All-Stars. You know what, guys? It looks to me like they're gentlemen, really in sync shots. here, all on the same two page. Shots. They've already got a bunch of assists. And keep an eye on the three-point shooting because that has been a factor as well. If they can maintain that current form, they can be successful. And, you know, the officials not giving their whistles much of a workout here tonight. Very few fouls being called. And most of that, Greg, is because they're not playing full force defense. I mean, you're never going to see as much contact around the bucket in this game as you would ordinarily. And MB drops them both. Clark, when we talk about the importance of what a player can do, how important is it for a player to know what they cannot do? Very important. Understanding who you are and what your skill set is and how that fits with your team, critically important. Not only knowing it, but then embracing your role within your particular limitations, skill set, and teamwork. Yeah, such a crafty move. That's an all-star game special right there, folks. That certainly isn't any regular season move. I agree with that. I mean, you save that kind of move for the big stage of the all-star week. Down it goes. Nice one there from Kumbo. And Anto Tacumpo, the Greek freak, showing again how committed he is when he takes that ball inside off the drive. Here's Davis, and Joel Embiid pulls it down. Hayward against Anto Tacumpo. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. You know, when it comes to versatility, the Greek freak, Giannis, 
is one of the very best in the league. I mean, his shooting, ball handling, and defense are really otherworldly. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right Two now. Shots. The first free throw is good. So an almost entirely new group now for the West. Carl Anthony Towns checked in for Gobert. Jabari Parker comes in for Davis. Kawhi Leonard's checked in for Gordon Hayward. And it's James Harden in for McCollum. Both free throws good from Anadokounmpo. And they're really getting more points at the free throw line here in the second quarter. And Greg, definitely, that's one of the reasons they're in front right now. So the timeout taken here, the first for the West. On defense, the East All-Stars. They lead by 11, the largest margin of the game. Harden kicks to Towns. Misses the three. The East All-Stars on offense. They're on a 12-4 run. Antetokounmpo can't get it to go. No excuses, no explanations. I mean, got to sink that J from mid-range. Defense wasn't even paying attention to him. Come on, man. Kept alive. Lays it up off the glass. Boy, the relentless nature of town snatches the offensive board, then converts it into points efficiently and effectively done. Now, here's Fox. He's been patient so far, nothing yet on the scoreboard. That's what they want. A good look from the mid-range game? Hey, but unfortunately, they came up in. Here is Harden. They trail by nine points. Towns the screen. This one for three. Another miss by Towns. Well executed, great rhythm. You've got to finish that. Agree with you there, partner, because that screen really freed him up nicely, and that's a shot that if you're a pro, you need to make that. Westbrook with it. Now guarded by Fox. Towns the screen. Harden has a wide open look. And that comes off the assist by Russell Westbrook. Now you got to remember that Harden has a quick trigger. Staple gun quick. This guy is looking to score as soon as the ball touches his hands. Here's Wood. Nine points in the game so far. LeBron sets the screen for Anadokounmpo. Score the basket. His fourth. He's only missed one of his five shots tonight. He's been turned up this quarter, showing a lot of confidence and sinking a lot of his shots. Here's Westbrook. And that one comes up a bit short. And we've reached halftime in this one. East All-Stars lead by 10. And we'll be back right after this. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And in this sold-out arena packed to the gills with fans, we are glad to have you join us. I'm Ernie Johnson. This is uh, Kenny the Jet Smith right there. Shaquille O'Neal getting them all riled up. up. Yeah. I love the show, Ernie. Oh, yeah. And we love the fans, too. Oh, yeah. Well, a great game so far, guys, but it appeared to be the East All-Stars who were having the most fun out there and they're sitting on a nice advantage heading into the second half. The West may buckle down and get a little more serious as they try to cut into that lead after halftime. Well, you never know what you're going to get out of this game. There's a lot of talent on the West side, obviously great shooters, great scorers, but the East is putting a whooping on them. I think they came over here and took the belt off my slats. Just a lot more physical, powerful athletes, they're showing what traditional Eastern Conference basketball is all about. Can I have my belt back? Well, these guys come to the All-Star Weekend for the enjoyment of it. You know, but when the game starts, it's really about showcasing your talents. And then there's a point in the game 
where everyone says, you know what? Pride kicks in. I got to win. And the competition comes out. That about wraps it up. Time now for the second half of the game. We go to Kevin Harlan for the call. Welcome back to the second half of the NBA All-Star Game. Always an exciting night of basketball. Yeah, and I'm looking for the temperature to start to rise here a little bit in this second half. Yeah, I'm exactly with you there. I think we'll see a little less showmanship and a little more intensity from here on out. Welcome, everyone, back to our coverage of the NBA All-Star Game. A great night of basketball here on 2K Sports. And we're seeing some world-class basketball being played here tonight. That's exactly what you'd expect coming from the absolute greatest players on the planet. On the floor for the West All-Stars, Kawhi Leonard is out there with Parker. Then it's Harden. Then it's Curry. And it's Towns. And at the pivot spot, Manning the middle. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, Greg, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. Leonard, no luck. Wood passes to Wall. No good that time. Towns with the defensive effort from deep. Got that one in the East All-Stars lead has been kept down to nine in the bucket from Stephen Curry. And Kevin, the three ball of Curry dead. I mean, you feel like it's going in as soon as he lets it go, no matter where at what angle or how deep. Now here's Wall. It's Durant on the wing. Shot clock at five. The West All-Stars pull it in. From deep Harden. That's good, and it's Leonard with the assist. Nine points for James Harden. The defense a step slow. You can see the results. Greg, that's three in a row from out there now, so they've got to do a better job contesting. Now here's Durant. And fouled on the shot, so the bucket counts, and a chance for one more here. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now, Greg. They've allowed from point-blank range. Can't happen. The West All-Stars making a switch here. Gobert, he's checked in for Towns. Davis comes in for Parker. Gordon Hayward's checked in for Kawhi Leonard. And it's C.J. McCollum in for James Harden. And you can see that Durant has an incredible drive. He wants to be an all-time legend when it's all said and done. Outside curve. Davis dishes to Hayward. McCollum outside. Pass to Davis. He couldn't stay in bounds, and that's going to be a turnover. One item that stood out, their ball movement. Things are definitely clicking, and more importantly, it makes it really hard to defend. Now here's Embiid. Lays it up off the glass. Embiid's got six. And you can see how comfortable Embiid is, feeling like nobody can guard him in the paint. And he's right. Time I called here, the West All-Stars decide to talk it over. Yeah, and the amount of points they've given up here in the paint, that, that's what they've got to talk about. Absolutely, Greg. I mean, they're getting crushed, killed, hammered, pulverized in the post. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Curry, Curry. Now the dish to McCollum. Lent it go with a three. The basket good off the assist from Hayward. 
McCollum's got his second basket of the night. Duran against Hayward. From 12 feet out, connects the jumper drops. Durant's got five points in the quarter. And Durant has just such a fluid release. Very efficient shooting the ball from that mid-range. It's McCollum with the drive. Here's the three. Drains it from beyond the arc. McCollum's got eight points. And how about the last five made shots have all been threes. The defense is just giving up a lot. Most teams get the message to cover shooters after one or two wide open looks at the three point shot. But it seems like they have just not figured it out. And here is Curry after the three pointer from Zach Levine. There's the pick. Davis with a screen on Durant. Five to shoot. Three pointer. Hayward kept alive. Davis and terrific work on the offensive glass when he picks up two. Davis has got his first two points. Outside Levine. There's 49 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Here's Embiid. Lays it up and banks it in. Embiid's got his third basket of the night right there. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more column in their favor, and it's all adding up. Well, you take a look at all of the stats, the team stats, that is, and that's one of the many areas that they've had the advantage. And as a result, they've got a big lead. And it doesn't even matter that he's surrounded on that possession. He's got the size to pull those boards down anyway. Embiid the screen. And Wall kicks to Durant. From deep three-point range, the shot, no good. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. The East All-Stars up on top. They're up by 10. Don't go anywhere. The final quarter is coming up next on 2K Sports. been having a great time here and we hope you have been too. the all-star game coverage continues thanks again for tuning in here to 2k sports and you know you always look forward to this game and, and, and this one certainly has lived up to the billing so far there is not another show in sports quite like the nba all-star game is there And it's the East All-Stars with the ball. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade for the fourth quarter. On the court right now for the East All-Stars. They've got LeBron James. Thomas is out there with Wood. And it's Durant. And here's Harden for three. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. Another bomb for him right now. His three-point shooting might be the key to cutting that lead. I don't think there's any question about it. I mean, as long as he keeps knocking them down, they might as well keep going back to the well. No reason to let it go run dry. Keep firing that thing. And all of a sudden, we've got a ball game, guys. No, no doubt about it. I'm sensing a major momentum swing here after that steal and run out. Now here's Durant. Defended by Towns. Carl Anthony Towns with the rebound. Durant against Leonard. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. And how about the evolution of Leonard's game over time? From role player to full-fledged star, a dynamite also defensively. And let's quickly break. check out Take the break. scoring breakdown here two for shots. the East All-Stars. They keep piling up the assists, and they haven't cooled off at all. They've repeatedly gotten out on the break tonight as well and scored a lot of baskets in transition. A free throw good from Kawhi Leonard. Fox, he's checked in for the East. Free throws good from Kawhi Leonard. And what an advantage. You really feel like you can always trust him when he's at the line. LeBron sets the screen for Fox. Down low. Really sweet passing from Fox. He's a reliable floor general and has great vision on the court. 
Harden with a screen on Fox. Towns the screen. Harden with it. Just five on the clock. From the arc. And it's Fox with the rebound. Yeah, and you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Durant with a wide open look. Wide open shot is on the money. I tell you what, it's it's almost like stealing to watch how he plays the game from this seat. Paul passes to Leonard. Here's Towns. That's good, and it's Leonard with the assist. And that's now six points for Carl Anthony Towns. LeBron outside. It's Durant on the wing. A second chance effort, and James with the layup. Man, you got to respect and appreciate how polished LeBron is inside. I mean, he really excels at creating opportunities for himself close to the rim. Now here's Leonard. Towns down low, out to Parker. Towns the screen. And sticking right with it, gets the foul with the bucket, and he'll go to the line. You know, when you're defending Parker, you've got to be very careful. I mean, if you're going to foul this guy, don't let him get a clean shot off as well. Curry's checked in for Chris Paul. One shot. And that one falls for Parker. The exceptional Parker will only continue to get better over time. I mean, he has tremendous drive to be one of the all-time greats. There's a good screen. Passes it to Wood. He kicks to James. Over Parker. And a big pounce off the rim, but it sinks right in. And that's now seven points for LeBron. Leonard sets a screen for Curry. And he's good on the three ball. And defensively, you have got to extend to their shooters. They have been on fire this half. Well, you know, the defense hasn't been there for real. I mean, these shooters are getting any perimeter shot they want. It's a bunch of warm-up jump shots out there. And, and you just hate to give up those second-chance points. Yeah, those are back crushers. I mean, they really crack your back when you give teams second shots like that. Now here's Curry, screened by Parker. Count that one in the East All-Stars lead has been cut to just five points on the basket from Towns. Man, how about the cool, calm, collectedness of Towns? Helps him come through when the game gets snug. From D. Parton, offensive rebound, Parker. Money! What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. Really impressed by the attitude of Parker. Commanding the rock in crucial moments. That's big. Fox kicks to Durant. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Boy, that was a rugged screen set there, fellas. And the defense didn't even try to go through that. Now a timeout called by the West All-Stars. They're behind by six. There's 25 seconds left in the fourth quarter. now we get the chance to present our Jordan player of the game, Kevin Durant. And his shooting percentage reflects just how efficient he's been. It's better than 50%, always a sign of a solid offensive performance. But his movement and his shot selection have also both been tremendous. Curry with the three. Rebound by the East All-Stars. 
They've held a 12-point lead earlier. Very pretty alley oh, win. And it's an eight-point East All-Star lead. Are, oh, can we get a load of that one? Take that play and put it in the alley -oop textbook, boys. Oh, perfectly done. You're right. He put it on a platter for him. And a nice touch on the finish. And the West All-Stars have possession. Now Thomas. So the East All-Stars win it. And guys, while the result and the bragging rights go to the East, this was truly a night that belonged to the fans. I mean, it was another great showcase of the world-class talent across the NBA. It seems to get better and better every year, doesn't it, Greg? Huh? So fun to watch. It was certainly a fun evening. We thank all of you for joining us and watching with us. For Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony, I'm Kevin Harlan. We'll see you again next time.